everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jessica, also known as Chic Professor on Instagram, and I make videos on luxury goods, the pre-love market, sustainable fashion, and workwear. Today's video is inspired by fall fashion. And what I mean by that is that everyone seems to be getting out their boots and their scarves and having a great time. And I love me some boots, but scarves are not really my thing. I wear them in the winter to keep me warm, but that's not a way that I tend to accessorize. So I was thinking about it and trying to figure out what accessories I have but never wear. And the reason that I'm filming this video is that because I have figured out what I never wear, I am smarter when I buy. So I know not to buy these things, I know not to spend money on them, I know that they're not going to get at least 30 wears, which is kind of the standard for buying pieces that are high quality and generally sustainable in your wardrobe. So these ones for me are definitely not good choices if I am going to make sustainable, mindful choices, conscious choices, I should say, in the future. So without further ado, I am gonna share with you the accessories that I never wear in the hopes that you can then figure out the accessories that you never wear. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first accessories I never wear, as I said, are scarves. I have a couple, again, big warm winter scarves, but these are just like silk scarves and I've narrowed down my collection quite a bit, but I still have like 10 or something, including this the Sony one, which is a little warmer, and I just never wear these. I want to, I want to wear them, and I just never think to accessorize with them. People who can match like printed scarves with printed outfits are wizards. Like they're just so fabulous, and I am not that person. So I, I just don't, I just don't reach for these. I very rarely think to accessorize with a scarf, and it's just not a smart purchase for me. The next pieces are SLGs, and I wear the same SLGs all the time, which is my key holder and my wallet, and that's basically it. So card cases, this is a business card case. I've always meant to carry business cards, and I have never done it. When I do, I will use this case, but as of now, this gets basically no use. In general, a card holder doesn't get any use for me because my wallet is so small that it's, I mean, it's definitely bigger than a card holder, but not like ridiculously so. So I just find that it's so much more convenient to not have to switch things over and I love my mini wallet. So card holders just in general don't get any use. Same thing with wristlets. This is not something that I typically wear. I will wear it every once in a while. I'll wear it in the summer for a wedding. Sometimes it's just a little formal clutch, but that's not something that I wear often. Luckily, these are timeless enough that I can keep them for my whole life, and so they will get the wears eventually, but they just don't get the wear on like a typical basis. And to keep going with that sort of idea, tech cases. This one is by a company called Katie Loxton, and my in-laws got me this. It says pretty in pink, and then it's like this padded little case inside, and it can fit like an iPad mini, maybe something else in it. So sometimes when we travel, I use it, but it, in general, I think it's just supposed to be a tech case and a little clutch, and it just doesn't really get much use in my collection. So I definitely am not gonna invest in like a designer tech case. That doesn't make any sense for me. Next up are sunglass cases. I love this little foam sleeve, and actually I wanna get another pair. I have two pairs of sunglasses. That's another thing. I just don't buy a lot of sunglasses. I have a pair of sunglasses that look good with everything when I'm wearing contacts that are not prescription. And I have a pair that are in here that are my prescription sunglasses. And that's all I need. So I have, these are both pairs of sunglasses and these are in this huge, ginormous, bulky Ferragamo case. They're big sunglasses. They take up a lot of room, but I have to find another one of these foam flexible cases because they are the best thing ever in my bags. And they also, you know, they protect my sunglasses, but then they just kind of fold into any shape and they just kind of have like a slim profile. They're not much bigger than the sunglasses themselves and I'm not gonna throw my sunglasses in unprotected. So sunglass cases, not such a thing for me as are multiple sunglasses. I'm gonna go ahead and look for some more foam ones because I need to add one anyway and if I find a link, I will leave that down below. And the last accessory that I never wear are hair accessories. <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, I understand how I would use this, but that's just not my thing. I don't wear headbands. I don't wear barrettes, clips, anything like that. The, you know, Gucci clip that is so not me. I have no interest in that at all. I don't accessorize with my hair. My hair is super boring. It doesn't do anything. I put it in a ponytail or a bun or I leave it down and that's it. And I just don't find accessories like comfortable on my head. I don't enjoy having things on my head. So <laughs> I guess that is why I just don't wear these. This is an old 
headband from J. Crew. I don't even know what to do with it. I could wear it as a belt. You know, I could wear it a bunch of different ways, I guess, but it basically just sits there and never gets any use, and I don't even know why I have it. So that is it for this video. These are all the things that I have in my closet but never wear and know basically to never buy again. And I'd love to know what accessories you have in your closet that you never wear. So please do leave them down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.